Hey guys, what's going on? Steven back again, and we finally have our Walking Dead Season 8 trailer, and now it is time to break it all down. So, spoiler warning ahead, this will contain spoilers. Alright, so it starts off with Father G inside of a building surrounded by walkers. In one of the episodes, we do know that Rick and Father G drive up to the sanctuary. I think they're the ones leading the herd of walkers to sanctuary. So as they are about to leave, Gregory either comes running down the stairs or is pushed down the stairs by Negan. Rick wants to leave Gregory behind, but Father G wants to go and help him. He tells Gregory, run for the car, I'll cover you. So Gregory runs to the car, and instead of waiting for Father G, he ends up driving off without him, leaving him behind. As the walkers come in, Father G has to make a run for it inside a sanctuary, and he runs inside of a building, and I believe that is the scene that we just saw. So then we just got Rick here. Looks like he's getting ready. Same thing with um, Carol and Tara here. Um, this is probably just another scene of uh, the bridge with the walkers down below walking underneath them. This scene right here, I believe, is in the first episode because we do know that they go back to the highway where the uh, limbo walkers were because there's still a giant herd of walkers they didn't kill all of them so they went back there i think they're just scouting out the cars and everything like that uh, this is also i think where they did a callback to episode one where you know rick was walking around looking through cars and stuff like that you know he had the the bag of guns and he also had a, a gas canister i think we're going to see a callback to that except instead of it being rick it's just going to be carl instead uh this right here looks like they're getting ready for the attack on the sanctuary it looks like all right so we got ezekiel right here probably going to address his men all right, this shot right here, we do know that um, there is an ambush scene that happens. Uh, Daryl is getting chased by two cars and four motorcycles full of saviors. Daryl drives down an alleyway, and Morgan jumps out, ambushes them, blows up one of the cars, and um, kills all the other saviors on the motorcycles, which pretty much looks like this right here which of course the explosions and everything like that lead a herd of walkers down the alleyway and that is what we're seeing right here because as you can see whoop, uh, there's a motorcycle there and there's a motorcycle right here as well so that is probably that scene right there and then we got Michonne and Rosita here we got Hilltop And Tara looks like she's just, you know, screwing around with the uh, walkers underneath the uh, the bridge, you know. So this area right here could either be uh, Fort Gillum. We know that they filmed there, and they also filmed at a radar station as well. So it could be either one of these two, because we do know that they attack two outposts. So that is what this could be right here. Then we get Daryl with his gun, a whole bunch of tally marks. I don't know, maybe... Uh, Walker kills, savior kills. Not exactly sure, but that's a lot of tally marks right there. All right, so then we got Rick walking down a hallway. Uh, you can see his uh, Colt right here sticking out of his side. Uh, again, not sure if this is either the radar station or um, you know the Fort Gillum outpost that they've been filming at. We got a Walker reaching for a bag. Alright, so we got the armored cars here. It looks like somebody is watching them. Uh, don't forget, uh, trailers do like to deceive, so someone could be thinking, you know, oh, maybe this is a savior watching them, uh, but then it could be, you know, someone else. It could be just be Rick or something like that watching them, making sure all the cars are in the, you know, right position or whatever. So, not exactly sure, but that is my guess right here. Alright, we got someone here with his hands bound and tied could possibly be that long-haired savior uh jared i think his name is i don't remember his name the dude with the long hair but this could be him could be wrong someone peeking out let me get the guys at the hilltop here 
And Gregory doesn't look happy at all. All right, so we get the armored convoy here, which they have been using a lot. They used it in the um, attack at Sanctuary, and they've been bringing these vehicles basically everywhere they've been going, um, to the radar station, to all the different outposts and stuff like that. They have been driving around with this rolling armored fortress. So as we can see, that is a lot of cars. I mean, what do we got? One, two three four five six seven eight nine ten maybe eleven from what we're looking at right here so maybe about a dozen different vehicles all dressed up in armor and stuff all right, then we just got them standing around looks like they're getting ready for something all right looks like this is the prep work scene for that motorcycle slash car chase where the car gets blown up and flipped over um, it looks like they're just scouting the area right now. I think this right here is where they are, uh, you know, we're leading the walkers and stuff like that. Then we have, um, you yeah, know, looks like the groups marching down uh, the street. You know, like I said, it was going to be a lot of guerrilla type fighting. I mean, perfect ambush scene, you know, just imagine like a whole bunch of saviors just hiding right in these woods and just opening fire. I mean, they'd be done for all right then we got Daryl on his bike all right so back at sanctuary got all the walkers and stuff like that I'm guessing this is probably the first scene the battle scene uh, attack at sanctuary I think you know I mean it does get tough when they're filming at uh, the studio because obviously it's you know private property closed off set um, you know, so people can't really get pictures and everything, but that's what I'm going with. All right, then it looks like we get another raid on a building. Again, this could either be um, the radar station or Fort Gillum, um, but either way, it looks like they are attacking an outpost. All right, we get a meeting in the woods. Uh, I do like the different armbands. I think the armbands might mean, you know, once they start getting into a shootout and everything like that, you know, just a way to identify everybody. You know, last thing you want to do is, you know, accidentally shoot someone else. All right, looks like they're getting ready to attack. All right, so it looks like I think this could be them trying to corral all these walkers to the sanctuary. Uh, I have no idea what is going on here, why Morgan and Jesus are fighting. Uh, it does not look like they're training. Because, I mean, if you see, like, the way he reacts, you know, it's kind of like a, whoa, 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 what are you doing type of thing. So I'm not exactly sure what is going on here. All right, we got Rick and them fighting. We get more Simon. See, I think this could be um, the dude who had his hands bound. I wonder if we can go back to that scene. I really don't want to be going all the way back. I don't even remember where it was. Mm. Yeah, I think that's him. I think that shirt kind of looks the same. Yeah, I think that is, um, I think his name's Jared. Let's see if I can go back to, where was it? Yeah, I, I think that was, um, I think that was him. I mean, I think the shirt does kind of look the same, so it could have been him with his hands tied. All right, then we get the scavengers. Uh, or the kingdom here marching along. All right, we get Carol being a badass. I don't know what what exactly she could be shooting at. I think this is more of um, you know, Dell trying to uh, corral the walkers and stuff like that. You know, trying to get them to uh, go where they need to go. Uh, this scene right here, I think this is going to be. Um, the scene, you know, where um, 
we end up losing Shiva. I think this is it. I mean, we really haven't been seeing her uh, filming too much, but then again, you know, she's a puppet, so very probably very easily able to be uh, transported and moved around. Um, but I think that is the scene that we are going to lose her. And of course, we finally get an axe kill. How badass is that? Definitely been waiting for uh, that axe to come into play for quite a while. Uh, and then we got like an ambush shootout type of scene, which looks awesome. Uh, this scene right here, I believe, is right when um, Rick and I think Father Gabriel drive up to Sanctuary. Because I think Rick ends up taunting Negan, you know, telling him, come out and fight me. Uh, be a man, you know, don't be a little bitch. And I think that is what Negan is responding to when he slams Lucille down. Is he's hearing Rick outside taunting him. All right, this scene right here, uh, you can see the uh, the chain link fence and everything like that. We do know that there is a, um, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, like a Trojan horse type of thing, where I forget, I'm not exactly sure who it is, if it's a savior or if someone else does it, but someone drives the RV right into Sanctuary and then the RV blows up and it takes down basically um, a majority of that fence in front of Sanctuary with all the uh, molten metal covered walkers and everything like that. So I think that is what we're looking at right here is the uh, the aftermath of um, that RV blowing up, taking out you know the entire front of the fence. All right, then we got more of the king. Uh, then we've got um, you know the scavengers meeting with someone. Not exactly sure who they could be meeting with. It's really hard to tell. Um, I don't know if that kind of looks like Tara. I don't know. But they're meeting with someone. All right, then we got somebody locked in a um, steel container. Really can't tell exactly who it is. Pretty dark. Um, but yeah, then we got Ezekiel taking out a zombie. Walker. Um, and then we get Carl here falling back onto an animal. I don't think this is Shiva. It kind of does not look like Shiva. Um, I think this is probably just another animal. And then we get more of a shootout. More fighting, more walkers. I'm so glad we get a bit of a sword fight there. All right, so this is the explosion scene that I was telling you about where uh, Morgan blows up the cars and, um, you know, sets off the ambush. And I think Daryl is already drove, and drove by here. And uh, after the explosion, um, you know, that's when that herd of walkers comes in and that's what Daryl... Um, you know, was taking a drink of water from. All right, then we got a whole bunch of, um, looks like kingdom people being gunned down, ambush. Again, no idea why Morgan and Jesus are kind of duking it out. I'm not sure if it's training or, or what. More shootouts. Um, Rick jumping from car to car. And the walking dead. And then of course, the big scene that everybody is wondering about this right here oh, of course I jumped past it now I I don't think we're doing a time jump or at least yet uh, right now you know they're still filming the war right now um, you know they haven't even started filming uh, the mid-season finale yet um, I don't think they've even started doing the um, uh, what is it, the attack at Alexandria, where, you know, Negan and the Saviors uh, surround Alexandria and start throwing grenades over the wall. I don't think they've even done that scene yet. Uh, not exactly sure when that could be coming in. So I think this could either be some sort of callback, you know, because it is episode 100. So I'm sure there's going to be quite a few different callbacks to episode one. Um, you know, because we know Carl is going to get one. You know, he's going to be walking around a gas station, you know, kind of similar to the way Rick was in episode one. Um, I think there is even a small child walker, I think, that Carl takes out. So kind of like, you know, a father-son type of thing. Um, 
but yeah this is either going to be either a a callback to episode one or rick is going to have some sort of dream because uh, this doesn't really look like a hospital type setting uh, this looks more like just like a regular room but um yeah this could either be some sort of like daydream or a callback to episode one but as of right now um you know there's been no no time jump yet and that's the end of the trailer october 22nd 2017 and of course we have the new walking dead uh you know logo all nice and clean and everything like that but anyways that is um the complete breakdown uh I know it went way longer than expected. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, you know. But anyways, um, hope you guys liked this breakdown. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. That'd be awesome. If you guys like the channel, hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on social media. Links in the description box below. And leave me your thoughts and comments. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts on the trailer? Are you looking forward to season eight? You know, what are you? Uh, what part are you looking forward to the most? Let me know. But anyways, um, other than that, more videos are on the way, and I will see you guys next time.